Hey there folks, it is time to start coding. And once you've logged into your computer, we are gonna focus on the program you see up here. It's called Robot C 4.0. Please do not click on the one that says graphical. We're not going to use that. We're gonna use the one that says 4.0. So double click on this program. It may take just a couple seconds to load everything up because it's the first time you're using it. Uh, but it should be right here, Vex Robotics 4.0 start page. Uh, we have a lot of different commands we're going to work with over the next week or so, but a couple of things just to get you set up here. We want to communicate with all the things that we build, so we have to adjust our settings. Once this opens up, the first thing you're going to do is find the word robot along the top. You're going to click on that, go way down here to the word platform type. It's third from the bottom. And all of our equipment is based on a VEX 2.0 Cortex. So you're going to click on VEX 2.0 Cortex. There's step one. You should notice that some of the commands over here have now changed. And we have to go on to step two. Step two, go back to the word robot that you find along that top toolbar. Go back down to the word platform type. And then we want to make sure that natural language PLTW is selected. And on mine, it's already got the check mark by it, so I'm good. If yours does not have a check mark, please click it. Done with step two. On to step three. How will we communicate between our computers and the projects that we build? Go to the word robot at the top. This time, go down to the third command, which says Vex Cortex Communication Mode. And we want to make sure that it says USB only. If you have a black dot in front of USB only, you're fine. If you do not, then click on USB only and you'll be good. Okay? So this is what we've done in review. Gone down to platform type, make sure it says 2.0, make sure it says natural language PLTW, and we've gone up here to communication type and make sure it says USB only. All right? Last thing we have to do. Go up to the word view, click on view, and then about two-thirds of the way down, you're going to find the word that says preferences. For preferences, take this little pop-up screen, go all the way down to the bottom for detailed preferences. Click on that. And we want to uncheck auto file save uh, before compile and auto file save on exit. Uncheck it. No check marks in those boxes. Click apply. Okay. And you're ready to program. Have fun and good luck.